Hi, welcome back to the CNC channel. I have message or comment from Andrew Mosqueda. He explained the create database in GoDaddy. GoDaddy is hosting provider that uh, I conclusion is he he want to make a remote connection from database in his visual basic code and uh, from this question i want to make tutorial how we can uh, create a re remote connection from our visual basic in our computers to our database in internet or in hosting provider something you must to know is while we create remote connection we must granted access our ip address or our network in our hosting provider so i already give uh, this code or my application in uh, my computers using dynamic connection i can show you how we can doing a remote connection from your computer here to a database in internet or or in hosting provider first you can open your cpanel or your account in your hosting if you don't have one you can buy from a uh, cut eddy like this or you can buy from another hosting provider okay if you have one you can uh, now to create remote connection okay i will share this code into description you can download this project and you can try your remote connection using visual basic okay let's start this project first if I click show database, you can see there unable to connect to any of the specified MySQL host. It means I don't have a right connection to right server or MySQL host. If I click again, you can see there there is wrong MySQL server details. So let's doing a remote connection from our hosting first you can create a database user database password and of course database name in the database menu in your cpanel and you can select my sql database wizard here for example i want to create new database called newscoid db db like this and for username fb user like this and for password i want to set my hum my homework my homework zero for example my hum work zero like this let's create user okay then please uh, note this into your notepad or something editor you have and password is my homework zero like this server let's get server later okay you can just click all privilege here to certain if phoebe user can access phoebe db with full privilege or granted here click next step okay 
user no squid was added to database no squid fbdb let's back to home and then you can go to php my admin okay i want to go to my ad php my admin because uh, i prepare my database in fbdb i want to import my database become i want uh, i will share my database and project in column or in description video so you can just download and practice with yours in your home of course let's click import here okay this is my database i will include this in description so you can just download the zip package and extract it on your computers and you get all i click open and then go okay let's see the structures click on your table i have one table called tb testing here you can see there i have two fields called id and names and you can see now we get values in here user we get this let let's fill this with our uh, database name is this and password is my homework zero and now the next question is what our server okay usually you can uh, contact your hosting provider to see what uh, your server ip address but if you have a domain you can just doing ns lookup with command prompt like this just type or press windows button plus r in your windows or in or in your keyboard i mean i'm sorry call cmd and then just doing an s lookup because my domain is nosware.com i just can doing this you can see there this is my domain nosware.com so to see what is your server ip address you can just doing uh, or type and as look up space your domain and then hit enter in comment prompt i have this for my server address so i copy this okay this is my server it's right uh, let's do or let's fill this with uh, this ip address now let's save this configuration your server configuration has saved okay now my program has reloads if i click this i will deny it. i don't want uh, to show direct with right configuration let's click show you can see there access denied for user nusco it underscore fib user at okay you can see this this is your ip address but if you if you not yet create a program you can open google and see what your ip address we type what is my ip okay you can see there my public ip address is same with this 202 point okay point 67.41.8 point point this is my ip address and then uh, because we denied we just make granted for this ip address okay back to cpanel in your hosting of course and then 
go to remote mysql database okay after that you can add access host to grant it this ip address in these fields for example this is my home ip like this you can add host and you can go back i have to access host from outside that can uh, access my database from uh, internet this is my ip address next click show in our program and you will see the database in here okay the database contents in here appear now and the next question is if you have range ip address what you can do you can just delete this and you can using percent prefix for example you have network that dynamic chains or you have small network that more than one of course you can just uh, give prefix percent my network for example so like this it will uh, also work and IP address with 202.67.41 with anything in the end of IP address will can access your database remote okay we can delete okay you can see there okay now you just have to uh, database and we reload in the php my admin you can see there is just two and if you want to grant it in all uh, ip address you can just delete this and remove access host you can change your ip address using present prefix like this and all can access your database for example like this and this is will also work but i think this is not safe okay but if your program or application uh, can access from others or all IP address doing this this is will work also let's uh, click delete one okay and then click show again you can see it just uh, one let's remove this to show evidence this is work okay i remove all my ip address except this this is uh i'm forget <laughs> who who is have this uh us okay i delete my granted network in here then if i click this and delete i will then it oh the case is still there sorry uh, let's start again I will insert okay now there is then it okay that's all a tutorial how we can connect visual basic using database in internet of course uh, i think this will help you if you develop application that can access in uh, wherever uh, user one okay uh, just at all thanks for watching bye bye